I believe the Mako can't really flip over, but it can get stuck. So you gotta be kinda careful with it. This looks like this could be Thresher Maw territory. The other thing you gotta be careful with is if you take a, a long drop, like down to there, you are going to take damage. So I'll have to, as carefully as possible, traverse this cliff. Almost at a uh, 90 degree angle here. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know how this thing is uh, capable of sticking to this as well as it does. All right. Any Thresher Maws out here? Looks like the kind of space that they would be in. Uh, maybe not. Wide open, but nothing really out here. Unfortunately, that really seems to be it. Oh well. So much for that. Maybe one over here? At the very least, I can get a little money out of it. Back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing just jumped up and bit me. I didn't know it was there. Straight in my butt. Alright. I don't think anything else appeared on our map along the way. We'll pull that off the map. Let's head towards uh, the debris over here. It is going to be rough getting back up this uh, sheer cliff. You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. It's okay, Joker. I'm trying to get up here. And this, this is where the pain comes in, because getting back up mountains like this can be quite rough. So this is the kind of stuff I will probably cut out in the future. But I want you to know my pain first. <laughs> so you can kind of get an idea of what uh, I will probably be dealing with off camera a lot of the time. This was actually really easy to get up so far. Oh, nope. Spoke too soon. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Alright, let's see here. That looks like the debris down there. That went over pretty well. This thing uh, definitely does not handle very well. <laughs> and if you ever play this game, you will understand the pain of handling this car. It is not easy. Not easy at all. Out of curiosity, have anything to say, Tally? No? Okay. So we can salvage this. We have to begin a manual bypass, and good luck to me, because this looks uh, not as rough as I thought, but uh, I think we're screwed, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, well, let's use the 25 Omni Gel. We've got an explosive and another high caliber barrel. Oh, well, let's see uh, what the explosive uh, has to offer. It is 25 toxic damage. I think high explosive is what we've got currently. Is that the one? I think so. Yeah. I like the high explosive, so I don't think I'm going to be changing out of that. Unfortunately, Frogger is probably going to kick my ass many times in this game. It looks like there's two question marks on the map here. But I only see one here. Strange. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go towards the two question marks. And 
hopefully not get too stuck in all of these uh, craggy rocks over here. You may think to yourself that the uh, jump jets would be helpful in situations where you're trying to climb up mountains, but uh, it actually ends up just jumping you off of the mountain and screwing you over most of the time. Um, let's see, this is not a particularly good place to drive over here. Do not want to go down into that crater at the bottom if I can help it. But I may not be able to help it. Come on, Marco. Oh. Kind of have to drive it sideways if you want to get up these mountains sometimes. Unfortunately, turning while you're on a uh, steep cliff like that doesn't always work out very well. Oh boy. Let's not keep going forward and destroy ourselves. Okay. Got something going here. Some sort of satellite thing and uh, a wrecked mining vehicle. Alright. Let's get out and check it out. Ancient debris. Let's recover it. Alright. More Frogger. Okay. And got in there. Turian insignia recovered. Digging under the beacon revealed a piece of scrap metal, likely from a very old freighter. It was marked on one side with the uh, Macedine or Macedine outpost insignia. All right, so we've got codex, journal, and some kind of area map thing. So let's see. Did that add anything uh, interesting to our map? I don't know. Let's check out what we've got here for uh, Council Races. Turians, the Unification War. At about the time the Salarians and Asari were forming the Council, the Turians were embroiled in a bitter civil war. The Unification War, as it was later named, began with hostiles, or, uh, hostilities between the colonies furthest from the Turian homeworld. Uh, Palavin, I guess? Uh, the colonies were run by local chieftains, many of whom had distanced themselves from the hierarchy. Without the galvanizing influence of the government, the colonies became increasingly isolated and xenophobic. Colonists began wearing emblems or facial markings to differentiate themselves from members of other colonies, and open hostilities became common. When war finally broke out, the hierarchy maintained strict diplomacy and refused to get involved. After several years of fighting, less than a dozen factions remained, and the hierarchy finally intervened. By that time, the chieftains were too weak to resist. They were forced to put an end to fighting and renew their allegiance to the hierarchy. Though peace was restored, it took several decades for animosity between colonists to fade completely. To this day, most Turians still wear the facial markings of their home colonies. As a point of interest, the Turian term barefaced refers to one who is beguiling or not uh, be uh, not be trusted. <laughs> I'm guessing not to be trusted. Whatever. It is also a slang term for politicians. So for things like this, where it's just a recovery, I don't think you can actually use Omni Gel to get at it afterwards. So I may make saves just so that we can get that stuff. Because for that kind of stuff, um, we may very well miss out on some uh, flavor text from the game. Learning about things, you know? Let's see what the uh, mining vehicle has to offer. Discovery. The front of the rover is crumpled in from impact. A glance inside tells you the occupants, probably a team of illegal wildcat miners, are dead. 
Debris is still sliding down the furrows, left by its tires, silent in the near-vacuum atmosphere. Alright. So, what we basically found here was, uh, these miners were trying to go after the ancient ruins and got themselves killed. Alright. And now the only thing we've got left to check out around here is that biotic compound. We shall see if there is anything worth seeing there. This looks like uh, it's about as clean as the land is going to get around this area. Man, this Mako drives like crap. <laughs> I enjoy driving it, just uh, I kind of find it annoying when I can't get places very easily. I hear that this uh, vehicle is supposed to be taken out of the second game, but you know what? I have not played the second game yet, so we shall see how that goes. I plan to be uh, taking us as far as I possibly can with your votes, so we shall see what happens. Alright, so that's the compound. Is there anything else over here before we go to that? I don't think so. But, you know, could be a Thresher Maw or something. Yeah, I don't see anything around here. Alright, Mako, come on. You can go straight for once. Oh, there is something over here. There is most certainly something over here. It's on my map, but, uh, well, on my radar anyway but not exactly on my map. I feel like it should be showing up on the map. Yeah. Right here is a gold deposit. If I recall correctly, uh, route. these things are uh, kind of hard to collect, just like everything else. <laughs> Same Frogger. Same Frogger. Okay. Give it a second. And... Get in there. D did I get it or did I fail it? I don't know. <laughs> it said failed and then it said successful. Heavy metal surveyed. We have successfully surveyed a large deposit of gold. Which gave us uh, some experience and something to our codex. Let's check out what it is. Humanity and the Systems Alliance over here. Geological Survey. As the human race expands its territory and raises the general standard of living, demand for industrial resources continues to grow. Many planets, moons, and asteroids contain a wealth of resources, but many systems have barely been charted, let alone thoroughly surveyed. Unmanned probes are one solution but they are often lost to space hazards, unforeseen circumstances, or theft by salvagers. In recent years, AGES, the Alliance Geological Service, has offered bounties to private individuals or teams willing to perform mineralogical surveys on the frontier. This survey data is made publicly available to further corporate development. Due to the cost of travel and the dangers of operating on hostile worlds, it is rarely a profitable endeavor. Light materials. Metals with low atomic weight are often used in the construction of spacecraft and vehicles. Heavy materials. Uh, metals. <laughs> metals, not materials, whatever. Uh, metals with higher atomic weights are used to construct equipment components. The platinum group elements are particularly useful. Rare earths, most useful materials in this category are radioactives or magnets. Gases, 
Various gases are required to support all known forms of sapient life. Some are commonly used as fuel. All right. So, yeah, this kind of stuff uh, will definitely appear on various worlds. Um, I remember it uh, normally showing up on the map when you see it. Maybe that's why I remember uh, scouting around planets very slowly. It's because I would go back and forth and see if anything appeared on my radar. Damn. <laughs> I forgot why I used to do that. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that very much with uh, this playthrough. We'll see. Don't see any living souls out here. But there's definitely uh, some kind of switch looking thing over there. And possibly a door over there. So you can definitely use uh, the Mako as kind of a, a sniper tower and just destroy things from far away. However, you actually get more experience when you're outside of the Mako and killing stuff. So it's up to you if you want to risk your life to get that extra experience. Does not look like we can do anything with this. Let's see what's going on over here, shall we? Looks like they've got their own kind of Mako looking thing over there. This looks like we might be able to go inside. Why hello medical kit. I will take that medi gel. Uh, can you get out of my way? That'd be great Garrus. I would really appreciate it. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I have to see Major Kyle. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I'm here to help, though. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people can get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. Yeah, but he needs my help. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. The far end? You mean, not this end? I feel like uh, this might be some kind of ambush. Before we uh, go over to that far end, which uh, looks like it has a green light on it, just want to check this out and see if there's anything uh, worth seeing over here. It's looking like probably not. What's up, Garrus? You don't want to talk to me? So I'm pretty sure we could force our way in there and then start a battle. But I do not remember what will happen if we uh, play nicey nice over here. We shall find out, though. Hello? Anyone home? You gonna be, uh, nice? We can't trust the Alliance. It's okay, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. What's up, bud? Just because we're biotics doesn't mean we don't deserve to be treated fairly. I agree totally. I don't plan to, uh, hurt you or anything. We'll see how uh, this ends up going. I mean, if it doesn't end up going well, this uh, could be a bad way out for us. Just because we're biotics doesn't mean we don't deserve to be treated fairly. Yes, I agreed with the last person. Don't worry about it. Another possible AI thing, a power junction apparently. Huh. A med kit. Don't need it. We uh, just filled up recently. Father Kyle says we biotics have to stick together. I mean, I suppose that's a nice sentiment there. 